Your body has thousands of chemical reactions going on in each cell every second of the day. The cells continually process the proteins, fats and carbohydrates from the foods you eat. Vitamins and minerals are essential parts of those chemical reactions. Without them, essential body functions couldn't take place, but you only need a very small amount of them. For most people, you can get all the vitamins and minerals you need from a healthy diet. There are 13 essential vitamins A, B, C, D, E and K with 8 vitamins in the B complex and many minerals the body requires for optimal health. If you eat a balanced, healthy diet, you are probably already getting adequate amounts of essential nutrients your body needs to function at its best level. If you are following a restricted diet or have certain health conditions, however, you may need a multivitamin or other dietary supplements. Ask a doctor or a pharmacist before taking any supplements, including a multivitamin, to avoid getting too much of a good thing. Difference between vitamins and mineral. Vitamins are made by living things, while minerals are found in the earth. For example, carrots produce beta-carotene, which the body turns into vitamin A. Minerals such as iron and copper can be found in soil and rocks. Vitamins are much more delicate than minerals and can break down with heat or age and are organic. Whereas, minerals are inorganic, making their chemical form more simple than that of vitamins. Why is an adequate vitamin intake so important? Years ago, medical professionals noticed that peculiar disease states were directly related to food intake. The diseases were found in the presence of adequate calorie and protein intake. Scientists also noticed that these diseases were absent among people who consumed certain foods. For example, sailors who consumed citrus fruits on long sea voyages did not develop scurvy. Thus, researchers reasoned there must be other important substances in the food. Eventually, they discovered that compounds only obtained from foods could prevent and cure these diseases. So in simple words, vitamin deficiency can create chronic health conditions. Two types of vitamins. Number one, fat soluble vitamins. Fat soluble vitamins are mostly absorbed passively and must be transported via dietary fat.
these vitamins are usually found in the portion of the cell which contains fat, including membranes, lipid droplets, etc. We tend to excrete fat-soluble vitamins via feces, but we can also store them in fatty tissues. If we do not eat enough dietary fat, we don't properly absorb these vitamins. A very low fat diet can lead to deficiencies of fat soluble vitamins. There are four fat soluble vitamins and those are vitamin A, D, E and K. Number two, water soluble vitamins. Water soluble vitamins are absorbed by both passive and active mechanisms. Their transport in the body relies on molecular carriers. Water soluble vitamins are not stored in high amounts within the body and are excreted in the urine along with their breakdown products. There are altogether nine water soluble vitamins, that is, all of eight B vitamins and vitamin C. In this video, we'll dig a little deeper into fat soluble vitamins. Each vitamin performs a different important fu function throughout the body, and we will go through each and every one of them in detail. First up is vitamin A, your retinoids. Vitamin A is the generic form for a group of fat soluble compounds, highly important for human health. They are essential for many processes in your body, including maintaining healthy vision. ensuring the normal function of your immune system and organs and aiding the proper growth and development of babies in the womb. It's recommended that men get 900 mcg and women 700 mcg and children and adolescents 300 to 600 mcg of vitamin A per day. Here are six important health benefits of vitamin A. Number one, protects your eyes from night blindness and age-related decline. Vitamin A is essential for preserving your eyesight. The vitamin is needed to convert light that hits your eye into an electrical signal that can be sent to your brain. In fact, one of the first symptoms of vitamin A deficiency can be night blindness, known as nyctalopia. People with this condition can still see normally during the day, but have reduced vision in darkness as their eyes struggle to pick up light at lower levels. In addition to preventing night blindness, eating adequate amounts of beta-carotene may help slow the decline in eyesight that some people experience as they age. Number 2. 
may lower your risk of certain cancer, cancers. Cancer occurs when abnormal cells begin to grow or divide in an uncontrolled way. As vitamin A plays an important role in the growth and development of your cells, it influences on cancer risk and role in cancer prevention is of interest to scientists. In observational studies, eating higher amounts of vitamin A in the form of beta-carotene has been linked to a decreased risk of certain types of cancers like cervical, lung and bladder cancer. Yet, though high intakes of vitamin A from plant foods have been associated with reduced risk of cancer, Animal foods which contain active forms of vitamin A are not linked in the same way. The current evidence suggests that getting adequate vitamin A, especially from plants, is important for healthy cell division and may reduce your risk of some types of cancer. Number 3. Supports a healthy immune system. Vitamin A plays a vital role in maintaining your body's natural defenses. This includes the mucus barrier in your eyes, lungs, gut and genitals, which help trap bacteria and other infectious agents. It's also involved in the production and function of white blood cells. Which help capture and clear bacteria and other pathogens from your bloodstream. This means that a deficiency in vitamin A can increase your susceptibility to infections and delay your recovery when you get sick. In fact, in countries where infections like measles and malaria are common, correcting vitamin A deficiency in children has been shown to decrease the risk of dying from these diseases. Number 4. Reduces your risk of acne. Acne is a chronic in inflammatory skin disorder. People with this condition develop painful spots and blackheads, most commonly on their face, back and chest. These spots occur when the glands get clogged up with dead skin and oils. These glands are found in the hair follicles on your skin and produce sebum, an oily, waxy substance that keeps your skin lubricated and waterproof. Though the spots are physically harmless, acne may have a serious effect on people's mental health and lead to low self-esteem anxiety and depression. Number 5. Sports Bone Health The key nutrients needed for maintaining healthy bones as you age are protein, calcium and vitamin D.
However, eating enough vitamin A is also necessary for proper bone growth and development. And a deficiency in this vitamin has been linked to poor bone health. In fact, people with lower blood levels of vitamin A are at a higher risk of bone fracture than people with healthy levels. Additionally, a recent meta-analysis of observational studies found that people with the highest amount of total vitamin A in their diet had 6% decreased risk of fractures. Number six, promotes healthy growth and reproduction. Vitamin A is essential for maintaining a healthy reproductive system in both men and women. Rat studies examining the importance of vitamin A in male reproduction have shown that a deficiency blocks the development of sperm cells causing infertility. Likewise, animal studies have suggested that vitamin A deficiency in females can impact reproduction by reducing egg quality and affecting egg implantation in the womb in pregnant women. Vitamin A is also involved in the growth and development of many major organs and structure of an unborn child. including the skeleton, nervous system, heart, kidneys, eyes, lungs, and pancreas. But keep in mind, too much vitamin A during pregnancy can be harmful to the growing baby as well and may lead to birth defects. Therefore, Many health authorities recommend that women avoid food that contain concentrated amount of vitamin A, such as pate and liver. As well as supplements containing vitamin A during pregnancy. Eight signs and symptoms of vitamin A deficiency. While deficiency is rare in developed countries, many people in developing countries do not get enough vitamin A. Those at the highest risk of deficiencies are pregnant women, breastfeeding mothers, infants and children. Cystic fibrosis and chronic diarrhea may also increase your risk of deficiency. Here are 8 signs and symptoms of vitamin A deficiency. Number 1. Dry skin. Vitamin A is important for the creation and repair of skin cells. It also helps fight inflammation due to certain skin conditions. Not getting enough vitamin A may be to blame for the development of eczema and other skin problems. Number 2. Dry eyes. Eye problems are some of the most well-known issues related to vitamin A deficiency. In extreme cases, not getting enough vitamin A can lead to complete blindness or drying corneas. Mm. 
Dry eyes or the inability to produce tears is one of the first signs of vitamin A deficiency. Number three, night blindness. Severe vitamin A deficiency can lead to night blindness. Several observational studies have reported a high prevalence of night blindness. Number four, infertility and trouble conceiving. Vitamin A is necessary for production in both men and women, as well as proper development in babies. If you are having trouble getting pregnant, a lack of vitamin A may be one of the reasons why. Vitamin A deficiency is also related to miscarriages. Number five, delayed growth in children. Who do not get enough vitamin A may experience stunted growth. This is because vitamin A is necessary for the proper development of the human body. A review of studies found that supplementing with vitamin A in combination with other nutrients may have a greater impact on growth than supplementing with vitamin A alone. Number six, throat and chest infections. Frequent infections, especially in the throat or chest, may be a sign of vitamin A deficiency. Vitamin A supplements may help with respiratory tract infection. The research results are mixed. According to one study, in elderly people, high blood levels of vitamin A may protect against respiratory infections. Number seven, poor wound healing. Bones that do not heal well after injury or surgery may be linked to low vitamin A levels. This is because vitamin A promotes the creation of collagen, an important com component of healthy skin. Research suggests that both oral and topical vitamin A can strengthen skin. Number eight, acne and breakouts. Since vitamin A promotes skin development and fights inflammation, it may help prevent or treat acne. Multiple studies have linked low vitamin A level to the presence of acne. In one study in 200 adults, vitamin A level in those with acne were over 80 mcg lower than in those without the condition. There are two types of vitamin A found in foods. Number one, preformed vitamin A, and number two, provitamin A. Preformed vitamin A is also known as retinol and commonly found in beef liver, lamb liver liver sausage, cod liver oil, salmon, bluefin tuna, goose liver patty, goat cheese, butter,
cheddar, hard boiled eggs, blue cheese, cream cheese, caviar, feta cheese. Whereas provitamin A can be found in plants and fruits such as sweet potato, winter squash, kale, turnip, carrots, sweet red pepper, Swiss chard, spinach, romaine lettuce, mango, cantaloupe, pink and red grapefruit, watermelon, papaya, apricot, tangerine, nectarine, guava, passion fruit, Dangers of too much vitamin A Vitamin A is valuable to overall health, however, too much of it can be dangerous. Hypervitaminism A or vitamin A toxicity typically results from taking high dose supplements over long periods of time. People rarely get people rarely get too much vitamin A from diet alone. Excess vitamin A is stored in the liver and can lead to toxicity and problematic symptoms. Such as vision change, swelling of the bones, dry and rough skin, mouth ulcers and confusion. Pregnant women should be especially careful not to consume too much vitamin A to prevent possible birth defects. Always check with your healthcare provider before starting vitamin A supplements. Next up is vitamin D, the sunshine vitamin. Vitamin D is sometimes called the sunshine vitamin because it produced in your skin in response to the sunlight. It's a fat soluble vitamin in a family of com compounds that includes vitamins D1, D2 and D3. Your body produces vitamin D naturally when it's directly exposed to sunlight. You can also get it through certain foods and supplements to ensure adequate levels of vitamin in your body. Vitamin D has several important functions Perhaps the most vital are regulating the absorption of calcium and phosphorus and facilitating normal immune system function. Getting a sufficient amount of vitamin D is important for normal growth and development of bones and teeth, as well as improved resistance against certain diseases. If your body doesn't get enough vitamin D, you are at risk of developing bone abnormalities such as soft bones, osteomalacia or fragile bones, osteoporosis.
here are three more surprising benefits of vitamin D. Number one, vitamin D fights disease in addition to its primary benefits. Research suggests that vitamin D may also play a role in reducing your risk of multiple sclerosis. Decreasing your chance of developing heart disease. It also helps to reduce your likelihood, your likelihood of developing the flu. Number two, vitamin D reduces depression. Research has shown that vitamin D might play an important role in regulating mood and warding off depression. In one study, scientists found that people with depression who received vitamin D supplements noticed an improvement in their symptoms. In other study, researchers found vitamin D deficiencies was more common in those who were also experiencing anxiety and depression. Number three, vitamin D boosts weight loss. Consider adding vitamin D supplements to your diet if you're trying to lose weight or prevent heart disease. <laughs> In one study, people taking a daily calcium and vitamin D supplement were able to lose more weight than subjects taking a placebo supplement. Scientists said the extra calcium and vitamin D had an appetite suppressing effect. It is also important for calcium absorption. Vitamin D is necessary for the absorption of calcium, which plays a key role in maintaining bone strength and skeletal integrity. Getting enough of both vitamin D and calcium is crucial to maintaining bone health. And protecting against disorders like osteoporosis, a condition that is characterized by weak, brittle bones. Eight signs and symptoms of vitamin D deficiency. Vitamin D is an extremely important vitamin that has powerful effect on several systems throughout your body. Unlike other vitamins, vitamin D functions like a hormone and every single cell in your body has a receptor for it. Your body makes it from cholesterol when your skin is exposed to sunlight. It's also found in certain foods such as fatty fish and fortified dairy products. Though it's very difficult to get enough from diet alone, the recommended daily intake is usually around 400 to 800 IU, but many experts say you should get even more than that. Vitamin D deficiency is very common. It's estimated that 1 billion people around the world have low levels of the vitamin in their body. Here are seven common risk factors for vitamin D deficiency. 
Number one, having dark skin. Because dark skin doesn't absorb vitamin D very well from the sunlight. Number two, being elderly. Number three, being overweight or obese. And number four, not eating much fish or dairy. Number five, living far from the equator where there is little sun year around. Number six, always using sunscreen when going out. Number seven, staying indoors. People who live near the equator and get frequent sun exposure are less likely to be deficient as their skin produces enough vitamin D to satisfy their body's need. Most people don't realize that they are deficient as symptoms are generally subtle. You may not recognize them easily, even if they are having a significant negative effect on your quality of life. Here are 8 signs and symptoms of vitamin D deficiency. Number 1. Getting sick or infected often. One of vitamin D's most important roles is keeping your immune system strong so you are able to fight off viruses and bacteria. Bacteria that causes illness it directly interacts with the cells that are responsible for fighting infections. If you often become sick, especially with colds or the flu, low vitamin D levels may be the contributing factor. Several large observational studies have shown a link between a deficiency in respiratory tract infections like colds, bronchitis, and pneumonia. A number of studies have found that taking vitamin D supplements at a dosage of up to 4000 IU daily may reduce your risk of respiratory tract infection. Number 2. Fatigue and Tiredness Feeling tired can have many causes and vitamin D deficiency may be one of them. Unfortunately, it's often overlooked as a potential cause. Case studies have shown that very low blood levels can cause fatigue that has a severe negative effect on quality of life. Number three, bones and back pain. Vitamin D helps maintain bone health in a number of ways. For one, it improves your body's absorption of calcium. Bone pain and lower back pain may be sign of inadequate vitamin D levels in your blood. The researchers found that those with a deficiency were more likely to have back pain, including severe back pain that limited their daily activities. Number 4. Depression A depressed mood may also be a sign of vitamin D deficiency.
In review studies, researchers have linked vitamin D deficiency to depression, particularly in older adults. Some controlled studies have shown that giving vitamin D to people who are deficient help improve depression, including seasonal depression that occurs during the colder month. Number five, impaired wound healing. Slow healing of wounds after surgery or injury may be a sign that your vitamin D levels are too low. Results from a test tube study suggest that the vitamin increases the production of compounds that are cru crucial that are crucial for forming new skin as part of the wound healing process. It's also been suggested that vitamin D roles in controlling inflammation and fighting infection is important for proper healing. Number six, bone loss. Vitamin D plays a crucial role in calcium absorption and bone metabolism. Many older people who are diagnosed with bone loss believe they need to take more calcium. However, they may be deficient in vitamin D as well. Low bone mineral density is an indication that your bones have lost calcium and other minerals. This places older adults, especially women, at an increased risk of fractures. Adequate vitamin D intake and maintaining blood levels within the optimal range may be a good strategy for protecting bone mass and reducing fracture risk. Number seven, hair loss. Hair loss is often attributed to stress, which is certainly a common cause. However, when hair loss is severe, it may be the result of a disease or nutrient deficiency. Hair loss in women has been linked to low vitamin D levels. Alopecia areata is an autoimmune disease characterized by severe hair loss from the head and other parts of the body. Number eight, muscle pain. The causes of muscle pain are often difficult to pinpoint. There is some evidence that vitamin D deficiency may be a potential cause of muscle pain in children and adults. In one study, 71% of people with chronic pain were found to be deficient. The vitamin D receptor is present in nerve cells, which sense pain. Vitamin D is the only nutrient your body produces. However, up to 50% of the world's population may not get enough sun and 40% of US residents are deficient in vitamin D. This is partly because 
people spend more time indoor, wear sunblocks outside, and eat a western diet low in good sources of the vitamin. Here are 7 healthy foods that are high in vitamin D. Salmon Sardines and herrings Cod liver oil Canned tuna Egg yolks Mushrooms And fortified foods like cow's milk, soy milk, orange juice, cereal and oatmeal. Next vitamins we're going to talk about is vitamin E. Vitamin E is an antioxidant. It helps protect your cells from damage. This essential nutrient occurs naturally in many foods. It's also available as a dietary supplement. Vitamin E is fat soluble. This means your body stores and uses it as needed. The two types of vitamin E available as supplements are natural form which is D-alpha tocopherol and the synthetic form which is Del-alpha tocopherol. The natural form is slightly more biologically active. For this reason, the RDA recommends 22.4 IUs daily. The RDA for the synthetic form is 33.3 IUs daily. You have probably seen rust on your bike or car. A similar process of oxidation and Accelerated aging takes place in your body. When cells are exposed to molecules called free radicals, free radicals weaken and break down healthy cells. These molecules may also contribute to heart disease and cancer. Free radicals form as a result of normal body processes. They cause damage that shortens the life of your cells. Vitamin E is a powerful antioxidant that may help reduce free radicals damage and slow the aging process of your cells. According to the National Institute of Health or Lifestyle Risk Factors, free radicals are increased by cigarette smoking, exposure to air pollution, high exposure to ultraviolet rays from sunlight. Vitamin E may help repair damaged cells. It's difficult to consume too much vitamin E in your regular diet. It's neither risky nor harmful to obtain vitamin E from food sources. What are the symptoms of low vitamin E? Deficiency is uncommon and typically the result of an underlying condition. Some premature infants also have low levels. A normal level is usually with the range of 5.5 to 17 mg per liter.
The normal range may be different for premature infants and children under 17. When an adult has less than 4 mg per liter of vitamin E in their blood, they usually require supplementation. Low levels of vitamin E can lead to muscle weakness. Vitamin E is essential to the central nervous system. It is among the body's main antioxidants and the deficiency results in oxidative stress which can lead to muscle weakness. Number 2. Coordination and walking difficulties. A deficiency can cause certain neurons, called the Purkinje neurons, to break down, harming their ability to transmit signals. Number 3. Numbness and tingling. Damage to nerve fibers can prevent the nerves from transmitting signals correctly, resulting in these sensations, which are also called peripheral neuropathy. Vision deterioration A vitamin E deficiency can weaken light receptors in the retina and other cells in your eye. This can lead to loss of vision over time. Immune system problems Some research suggests that a lack of vitamin E can inhibit the immune cells. Older adults may be particularly at risk. The following foods are some of the ways to get your vitamin E. Dry roasted sunflower seeds dry roasted hazelnuts, dry roasted peanuts, dry roasted almonds, spinach boiled, broccoli boiled, kiwi fruit, mango, tomato raw. One easy way to get enough vitamin E in your diet is to add a tablespoon of wheat germ oil to a recipe. Alternatively, you can snack on sunflower seeds. This will provide over 20 mg of vitamin E, which is more than a full day's requirement. Now we'll talk about our last fat soluble vitamin that is vitamin K. Vitamin K is an important nutrient that plays a vital role in blood clotting and bone and heart health. There are two main kinds of vitamin K. Vitamin K1, phylloquinone, comes from plants, especially leafy green vegetables like spinach and kale. And vitamin K2, menaquinone, is naturally created in the intestinal tract and works similar to K1. Vitamin K plays an important role in better known as blood clotting. Clotting is a process that helps prevent excessive bleeding both inside and outside of the body.
Your body needs vitamin K in order to produce the protein that go to work during the clotting process. If you are vitamin K deficient, your body does not have enough of these proteins. The telltale sign of vitamin K deficiency is bleeding too much. While vitamin K deficiency is rare, less than optimal intake may impair your health over time. Some of the symptoms to look out for are Excessive bleeding Keep in mind that bleeding may happen in areas other than at a cut or wound site. The bleeding may also be apparent if someone bruises easily. or get small blood clots underneath their nails. Bleeds in mucous membrane that line areas inside the body produces stool that looks dark black, almost like tar, and contains some blood vitamin K benefits the body in various ways. Number two, bone health. There appears to be a correlation between low intake of vitamin K and osteoporosis. Several studies have suggested that vitamin K supports and maintains strong bones, improves bone density, and decreases the risk of fractures. Number three, cognitive health. Increased blood levels of vitamin K have been linked with improved episodic memory in older adults. In one study, healthy individuals over the age of 70 years with the highest blood levels of vitamin K1 had the highest verbal episodic memory performance. Number four, heart health. Vitamin K may help keep blood pressure lower by preventing mineral mineralization, where minerals build up in the arteries. This enables the heart to pump blood freely through the body. Mineralization naturally occurs with age, and it is a major risk factor for heart disease. Adequate intake of vitamin K has also been shown to lower the risk of stroke. Vitamin K deficiency causes. Although vitamin K deficiency is uncommon in adults, certain people are at increased risk if they take warfarin, which thins the blood. or are taking antibiotics or have a certain condition that causes the blood to not absorb fat properly. Or have a diet that is extremely lacking in vitamin K. Vitamin K deficiency may occur in people with celiac disease and cystic fibrosis, a disorder in the intestine, or bile tract, liver, gallbladder, and bile ducts, or have a part of their intestine removed. The 
following 20 foods are good sources of vitamin K for optimal health. Include some of them in your daily diet. Kale Mustard green Swiss chard Spinach Broccoli Brussels sprouts Beef liver Chicken Goose liver pate Green beans Prunes Kiwi Soybean oil Hard cheese Avocado Soft cheese I hope this video has helped you learn some new information. There are a whole bunch of people that really need this information, so please share it with your friends and family. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video.